So this is a little video just to help some of the triathletes out there. We're going to look at how upper body or thoracic mobility can affect performance during a triathlon. So you spend a lot of hours in this hunched over aerodynamic position on the bike, or it may be that you spend long hours at a computer or behind the wheel of a car. So what this does is put this kyphotic or this curvature in that upper back. And again, being on the back, it's a very fixed position and you don't have as much rotation in the spine. So that can then lead to restrictions when you're in the pool or running. So for example, you need a lot of rotation through that upper body to bring that arm round through in your swimming stroke before entering the water again. And again, you might have restrictions more one side than the other, particularly if you tend to breathe into one side rather than bilaterally. This can also affect your running techniques. So if you look at the runner on the left, um, his arms are crossing the body. This is a very inefficient way of running, but this is, can be due to lack of mobility within the upper spine or it can be through tightness in the pecs, again, adapted from that position on the bike. So as we start to encourage rotation through the upper spine, you can see the arm improvement changes on the right and there's more elbow drive. This encourages a more efficient way of running and a much smoother pattern. So that's something to consider. So what I've done here is put a few exercises together just to introduce you to some basic ways of increasing that thoracic mobility. Um, some include a ro foam roller, but you don't have to use Use it. So the first one lying on your side, the top knee comes forward and you're really going to anchor that knee into the floor as you draw back through the top arm. You can do it in that bow and arrow line or with an elbow and really take a nice deep inward breath as you open to really expand that rib cage and mimic that rotation as you're coming out of the water in the pool. Another slight variation here, the legs are nice and wide, so you're trying to anchor the hips and really work that rotation through the upper, upper body. So threading through on the outward breath and in to open, trying to keep that hip fixed into the floor as much as possible. Threading the needle is a really good exercise for thoracic rotation, so you're reaching through, bending the weight-bearing elbow to bring the ear to the mat and then opening up the other way. You can use foam rollers to increase this range of movement or either a TheraBand around the back of the shoulder blades and that just increases that stretch underneath the shoulder blades a little bit further. Bringing the roller in front now starts to stretch underneath the shoulder blade and the lats on that forward reaching arm. Just a nice way of changing up the mobility. You can also use a child pose and mini cat stretches with or without a roller. Here it's really starting to think about mobilising from the tailbone all the way up through the neck. So drawing in through those tummy muscles as you peel up and down the spine as well. So just a nice variation to all the rotation stuff. Here, a little bit more swimming specific. It can You can do it straight arm, you might reverse it to bring it back the other way to mimic more of your swimming technique. But you notice how I'm following my hand with the head to help with that breathing pattern as well. Another variation on your needle thread, but with a bent elbow this time. So this brings it a slightly higher up into the spine. Watch that you're not shrugging too far up to the head on that underneath side. And the last one, using a pole or a broomstick in a slight squat position outward breath and rotating and keeping those hips pointing forwards. For more information, look on our website and keep tuned for further videos following triathlon.